All right, guys, we're going live tonight again. Um, I'm going to wait and see if we get some folks in the chat. I am going to kill that. Okay. All right. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So... I guess it was last week sometime, um, Wade got a bunch of clothes and stuff. Everybody knows Wade from Wade's Venture, I'm sure. And uh, he uh, offered it out to all of us subscribers and YouTubers and eBayers. So I got this big box in the mail today. I think it's like 60. I don't know. My son carried it in. Uh, 60 something pounds here from FedEx, actually a day early. Thank you, Wade. And, uh, we're going to spend the next, uh, I guess we'll spend about the next hour going through what we got in this great box. All right, let's check it out. Get my handy dandy. I'm actually going to move this onto the chair behind me. It'll be easier to, uh, to cut open, I believe. So let me roll this down. And pull this over this way. And uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, you get good packing though, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. All right, so. As you guys know, I do lots of stuff on eBay, and one of our big things is clothes. So let's see what we got here. Let's see. First thing out of the box. This looks like a starter. Looks like a children's or a boys 1416XL. All right. Let's take a look at the next one. We've got a new with tags, Warner Brothers Studio Store. It looks like huh, Peppy Le Pew. Do you guys know who Peppy Le Pew is? That looks like a men's extra small maroon with Peppy Le Pew. All right, all right, this is a little funky. Let's see what this one is. Up, oh, where's Casey? Rockstar Flippa when I need him. <laughs> Here we go. It is a Tommy Bahama, size large. All right, look at that. Tommy Bahama. All right, look at that. I'm going to actually, yeah, I guess I'll hang it up over here. Just give me one second. All right, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to just make sure we had some hangers and some stuff um, to, when we look at this stuff, hang it up. So what do we have here? We have an Alter 20X. That looks like a corduroy snap. That's a snap, and that is a size medium. Size medium. It's got those nice little pearl snaps. All right. You guys can see that. All right. Great. All right. Next. What do we have next here? Let's see. We got a Tommy Hill figure. Polo. Looks like a size medium as well. 
Nice red, black, and gray. All right. Let's take a look. All right, we left this on the on the, still on the hanger. That'll be good. I'll just hang that right on my clothes rack behind me. This is a Liz Claiborne, women's size 12 suit. Looks like I'll have to steam that a little bit. <laughs> it's black. Oh, it's a little blue in the photo, but it is jet black. I'm not sure why the color is not looking the best, but we'll fix that. Again, this is only my third video in a while. I haven't uh, only gone live twice, so <laughs> bear with me, guys. All right, let's see. This looks like uh, we've got a boy's tie there or a clip on men's polyester. A little striped thing. Looks like it was part with this jacket here. A little leisure. This looks like a little vintage going on here with this men's leisure jacket. Uh, Let's see, what is it? It is a limited LTD clothes, the Palace Clothiers. Wow, saw Wisconsin. Yeah, this definitely is vintage. You can even see if you look at the label here, um, for sure. Take a look at the label. All right. And uh, yeah, that's what it is. All right, we're going to actually put this back on the hanger and hang it back up. I think it'll be easier so that the wrinkles stay as wrinkle-free as possible. All right. What do we got next in here? Next, we have a lady, size 8. Looks like a nice blue. I think maybe it's my lighting in here. This is looking very chartreuse blue in the photos. Not sure what you guys are seeing, but this is really a navy blue. I actually try to see if I can adjust my lighting a little bit here. Again, you guys are gonna have to kind of work with me over the next couple of videos to like figure out even lighting, figure out lighting on photos. Now I gotta figure out lighting on videos. Let me see. Um, let me put a different light on, maybe that'll help. Let's see. That one. Maybe take this one down a little bit. Not sure if that's going to help. And uh, maybe not sure about this one either, but I'm going to try to put a different light on it and see if that makes any difference at all. Not sure if that's going to make a difference, but we'll try it. Now, looks like it's still going to show the same blue. Um, yeah, that's definitely, that's not good at all. Yeah, that light's definitely going to have to go off. All right, like I said, we're gonna it's going to be trial and error here with lighting. Uh, just like photos, right? you got to play around with your photo studio. Now i got to play around with my YouTube studio and figure out what's going to give us the best lighting. But for now, it's all good. For now, it's all good. So, again, women's short sleeve, Liz Claiborne um, dress. Nice for the summer now. Nice A-line, straight. All right. Perfect. Just try to hang things up on my clothes. Um, make it so much easier. All right. Let's see what we got here. This looks like a Fads XL denim double-breasted pocket dress. Short sleeves. All right. Again, we're going to put this over by my hang up. We can hang that stuff up. All right. Let's see. What else do we have here? We have a Route 66 Original Clothing Company blouse. It's like a nice floral design. Nice button down. Size is extra large. This actually looks a little vintage. I don't know. I'll have to look this company up. It's not a company I'm familiar with. Um, but this looks like it actually could be a little vintage. So I know we get all this stuff, you know, storage units and things. So you never know what's in these storage units. All right. Here's another one. Actually, this is the same brand, same maker. Um, 
Route 66, the original clothing company. This one has a little uh, camisole inside of it. It's yellow, yellow blouse. So that's, um, actually, is that part? Yeah, it actually is part of it. It's actually attached on the shoulders on the inside. Again, a little short, mock. Nice for the summer now. Very nice. Double, little double down there. All right, perfect. Hold that, put that over there. All right, this looks like uh, we got a little winter stuff going on here too. Let's see, we got an extra large cold water creek. Cold water creek, pull over, kind of sweater, button down. Oh, fancy buttons on those too. Very colorful, very colorful, nice. And that is a size extra large. All right, perfect. All right, and over there. And next we have a Land's End, size 16. That's a pink, actually. It's, a, it's almost like a candy stripe. That's really what it is. It's a candy stripe button down, women's size 16, Land's End. All right. I have to hang some of this stuff up. Might have to steam or press some of it. Um, all right, next, what do we got here? We have Erica Taylor. Erica Taylor, it's been a while since I've heard of Erica Taylor. This is a little vintage too. Country cottons. It looks like that is a rope. It's a women's cotton, definitely like a cotton poly mix maybe. Let's see what it says because it definitely is... No, actually, it's 100% cotton, size large. Did you not because of the buttons and the actual tag in there? Um, this Erica Taylor for sure is. All right, so that's a nice robe. All right, let's see what else we have. Got a sweater here. Oh, this is interesting. This is called Isle of Cotton, made in the USA, red. But where do you see this, guys? Long sleeve sweater that has this really cool quality parts, QPM, Ford, quality parts management. So it's branded. It's got a Ford brand. So any of you, and this is red. I, I, I'm noticing this video is not really looking like a good color here, but this is actually a very red, red color, red sweater. And again, that is a size... It's a size, didn't I see a size large? I saw a size large. Let's see. It is 100% cotton. I don't see a size. No, it's a large. Okay. So that is that. All right. So. Ford branded sweater. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what else we have in here. This looks like a woman's dress. Again, looks a little vintage. Yes, definitely. Donna Morgan. You can also, again, tell by the label in here. Uh, size 7, 8, 90% rayon, 10% wool. This is a dry clean only, only product. So, And it's got padded shoulders, so we know for sure it's vintage. Yeah, I grew up in the padded shoulder days. Happy day. Um, this actually does come with a belt. I did just see the belt in the box. Um, and this is the belt that goes with it. So it does wrap around the waist. There are loops on the waist that I saw. So very cool piece. And there's also a zipper. What looks to be zipper pockets or just zipper sides. Let's see. That is... I guess it's a zipper side. Okay. Yep. And then there's some buttons there as well. And yeah, that is definitely a vintage 1980s for sure. <laughs> know that era well. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What else do we have in here? It looks like a little, a little denim. A little denim. Oh, another fad. So the other denim we had in here was also fads. This is fads as well, size 14. Uh, has a little Q 
cute, cutesy little belt in the back you can tie lightly. It's not really meant to just be anything but just fix uh, fixing your back of your dress. This is actually really cute. Um, size 14. All right, perfect. All right, so we're going to put this over to be hung. I should have put the dress over here too to be hung because a lot of this stuff has to be hung up. Um, what do we got here? This looks like a nice, is this another dress? It is. It's, oh, nice. It's got a nice embroidered little top here. Let's see. Make a move. Hmm. Hmm. I'll be, I'll be politically correct or PG here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, okay. Almost. <laughs> Really, really, this almost looks like it could be vintage 60s, the way the style is with a little ruffle bottom and everything, 70s. Um, let me see. This is cool, this dress. Let me see what the, uh, oh, it does need some work at the bottom. Looks like it. Oh, no, the hem, you know, the hem's intact. It's just hanging down a little bit. That's easy enough. You can trim that up a little bit. Just looks like part of the hem started coming apart, but it's all right. We can fix that. All right, somebody will want this for sure. It's just, just, just because of the age and the style of this dress. I wish I could find a size though. Wish I could find a size. Let's see, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, handmade. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, maybe it says hand wash. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says, but I don't see a size. So I'll have to do measurements on this then. Just really cute, really cute. I think the right person, again, some of this stuff when it's vintage and older styles, the right person will take. But this this will sell. This is definitely cool. All right, let me put it over here with my dresses. All right, let's see. What do we have? This looks, looks like a plain little, little blouse, little top, little under. Bedford Fair Lifestyles, and this is a extra large. Red little, again, red, not orange like the camera's showing. Hopefully the camera is, <laughs> hopefully the camera's not showing what I'm seeing here on my screen. But this is definitely like a red, a very, very true red. Uh, cute, cute little blouse. All right, let's take a look. What else? Oh, this is cute too. This is, um, no, Nicole. This is Nicole. This is size large. It is, yeah, that's a really, that's a really cute top. Very nice, very nice. All right. Guys, if you're seeing anything you like in the video, let me know. Message me. I will absolutely. And hopefully you guys are, hi, Melissa. Thank you for joining. Thanks. I'm glad you found me live. I wasn't sure how to announce myself live. I just kind of <laughs> put it out on Instagram and uh, just, um, I got a, a box this week. I actually ordered it last week. Uh, Wade from Wade's Ventures had a bunch of stuff that he was um, parting out and selling in bulk. So I bought a box from him, 61 pounds of clothes. Uh, this is a GW. It's a sweater. It's a size large. Um, again, a lot of this stuff is vintage. A lot of this stuff is vintage. So... Yes, yes. She probably didn't get. Yeah, a lot of probably didn't get the notification. That's okay. It'll be up there for anybody, and I'm gonna keep going live. It's all right. You know, trying to build, grow the channel, as they say. So we'll just, we'll just do it as much as we can. Uh, this is a skirt by La Boutique. It's a size 18. It is. Let's see, what's the material on this? Looks like it's wool. Yep, it's it's actually part wool. It's not all wool. It's uh, wool and polyester. It's lined. It's got a side zipper. And, oh, it's a long skirt. It's got a split in the back. And it's beige. Melissa, are you seeing the colors... Or is the color looking washed out? I'm trying to figure out if my lighting is not good or good, or it's just me seeing it as, you know, as presenting it. 
I'm curious to know what the colors look like. For example, um, I'll go back to one of the shirts that I had. This is a red shirt. Does this look red in the picture or does it look pink? I'm just curious because I'm going to have to work on my lighting. <laughs> All right. Next, what do we have here? We have a Land's End. Looks like a very large dress. It is a XL. 1820, and I should be nobody talking about looks really large. Although I did start keto this week, down six pounds, so I'm trying. This is split on each side. It's, you know, it's nice for the summer. You could throw it over your bathing suit um, or just wear it just to be cool. Feels like it's probably cotton. Maybe a little spandex in it. A little bit, maybe. Maybe like a 1% with a 99% cotton, although it's a good cotton because Land's End doesn't wrinkle so good. You know, a lot of stuff with Land's End, so Land's End's a good name. Uh, let's see. No, it's actually 100% cotton, but it's good. It's, 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 it's a good cotton. It's not one that wrinkles crazily. We'll hang it so it doesn't, but, you know, take that out of the dryer really quick. It'll be fine. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, a little, little, little slip going on here. Little lady slip, beige. Nice long, long lady slip. This is a 34.12. Yeah, 34 ain't fitting this bad boy. Anyway, <laughs> that's a nice slip. Satin, and let's see, what is the material on this? This is JC Penney's actually. They made some good stuff. And again, this is a vintage, more of a vintage um, run. It's, it's nylon, but it's good. It's all in one piece. It's all good. All right, what else do we have here? Looks like we've got another robe, a little, or as my mother used to call them, house coats. <laughs> That's what it looks like. A little house coat or, you know, a little summer Little summer thing. Grandma and mom had no pride as to wear these outside in the yard. <laughs> but that's what it is. It's a little um, cover up for your nighty. And let's see. Oh, we got something else on the hanger here. Looks like maybe it came already dry cleans. Mm -hmm. I don't think Wade did that though. <laughs> Like orangey, yeah. Is that the what the color is showing? Yeah. Thank you. Who is that? Judy. Judy, thanks for joining. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to get better color. I'm, I'm sure it's just the laptop and it's the computer. Um, can't go live on my phone yet, so I think uh, I'll have to figure out the lighting a little bit better. This is a wool. Um, this is by Marsh Landing. It's a size medium. It's 100% Shetland wool, actually, which is an Irish wool. Um, very nice. It looks like, actually, and I know you guys can't see it, but the design in it is almost like a, uh, a very pale uh, design of snowflakes and uh, wintry scene. So that's definitely a winter thing. I'm going to hang that right on my rack over here where I keep my clothes. Um. Well, it looks like I'll be ready for fourth quarter with winter, that's for sure. <laughs> this is a great Northwest, and this is an extra large. It's 70% lamb's wool, 20% angora rabbit hair, and 10% nylon. So that's that's what that looks like. It's all white. It does does have a bit. I'll have to shave this a little bit. It does have a few puckers on it. Um, but otherwise, it looks okay. Looks like it's otherwise in pretty good condition. Again, I'm I'm sorry if the camera doesn't show these so great. Um, but yep, I'll have a few sweaters here ready for fourth quarter for sure. See now, this is red. This is going to come out orange again. This is really cute too. This is Rosanna. This is a size large. Definitely vintage. You can definitely tell by just the beading and the design. You could see um, the buttons and uh, all the buttons are here. They seem to be all intact. It's black and then red. And again, unfortunately, it just doesn't show well on the computer. Um, but seems to be good. 
I get concerned with sweaters like these because of their lamb's wool and angora. Uh, you got to watch and make sure there's no moth holes in them because this is a material that tends to, to you know, moths like this. But it looks really good. It looks like I don't see any anything on here that's uh, nothing at all. All right. That's, that's a nice. Somebody will like that sweater. That's just really um, lots of sweaters. Here's another one. Let's see what this one is. This one's rust. That's the color of this. This is a Northwest blue, not the color, the name. This is an extra large, and this is actually um, wool as well. It's um, wool, acrylic, nylon, and rami. It's got um, a little bit of speckle through it as well, but it is a rust color. I know the camera's not showing it at its best. Maybe if I stand back, but that's a rust. So that's a rust color sweater. All right, now we have what looks to be like a blouse. Very interesting. This is Crossing Point. It's an extra large. It's 100% cotton. And it's got these very funky, what looks, this is, uh, by the way, the color is, is a cross between, I would say it's almost a very, very pale lavender, very pale almost more to the pinkish color. <laughs> really funky, funky uh, closure here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's, um, it's got this like ball and then this eye has closures and that's how it looks up. All right, Judy, Judy's getting a wrench. Because I appreciate Judy showing up here today again, second time. All right, so let's add Judy. All right, all right. Good, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. It's the only way we're going to grow our channel, right? You guys need help growing your channel. When I get there, I'll be there for you. We help each other. All right, this is a Dockers men's. It's an easy... Regular, plain, uh, extra large, button down. This is a uh, light check blue, um, double button sleeve. Just a nice Dockers blue men's shirt. What do we got here? Another nightgown, another nighty, another nighty. This is Gilligan O'Malley. Gilligan O'Malley. Gilligan O'Malley, just a very heavy flannel. This looks a little vintage too. A little floral design, pink and white. It's got the little ruffles around the, the top. Yep, old party stuff I would wear. <laughs> All right, um, let's see, what else? This is a home kind of tea here. This is NFL branded. Join the team. This is huge. Gosh. NFL. This is a 1, 2, 3X. I guess one of the NFL football players would wear this. I don't know. Although it's short. Volunteer, mentor, give, educate, teach, support, coach. Join the team. NFL branded. Um, very large. 3XL. Again, I'm no one to talk. All right, this is a Quiz Woman Stretch, 97% cotton, 3% spandex, size 18. This is a turquoise with a pink and white. Oh, there's a little bit of a sheen or a glitter almost in this. Hmm, this is interesting. Um, yeah, it actually has almost like a metallic sheen or metallic finish to it. It's very unique, very different. Hmm. All right. What else? What do you guys say? I'm, I got to go to the chat. Oh, happy to be Yeah, big sleeping t-shirt, right? Yep. Oh, I'm so glad Judy got her first wrench. Yay. All right. I'm glad I could do it. All right. What do we got here? Hunt and Fish Tavern. Hunt and Fish Tavern, number 16. Oh, my son's date of birth. 
This is just looks like this was some kind of extra large uh, made by bike. It was probably just a, a softball or a baseball team that was uh, the Hunt and Fish Tavern had a team. This is black and yellow, black and yellow. I don't know if, again, it looks blue in the photo, number 16. Black and fish. Not even sure where this is. I'll have to Google and see if it's still around. But bike is the brand. And here it's even on the sleeve with the uh, stripes bike. All right. Something else here on a hanger here. Uh, this is Renna Rowan. Renna Rowan. I've had a few things by her. Um, they're calling it an 18W, which is their 1X. It's funny. Um, inside is an insert. Um, this They have... A stripe with a flower, but this was in style at some point. Uh, you don't have to wear it together. I don't know if I'll sell it together, but um, it's a blouse. These these colors are kind of brown, beige, tan. This is a sleeveless top. The sleeveless top is a 1X. The blouse is an 18. I think I would prefer it the other way around to put it together as the 18 as the blouse and the 1X as the top, but that's just me. But... I'll probably separate it. I think that'll be the easiest way. This is 40 cotton, 30 rayon, 27 acrylic. And, oh, no, because it's 42 cotton, 30 <laughs> rayon, and 27 acrylic. Okay. And then the blouse is, blouse looks like it might need a little, yeah, it's 100% silk. So the blouse is silk. It feels like silk. It's nice. It looks like it's in, you know, just good condition, but it does need a good, I'll take good steamer to that and I'll leave it hung. A lot of my clothes I, I put in bins and then when I go to take them out, they're like completely wrinkled because I put them in a bag. So I don't know if you guys are selling clothes or how you're doing it, but I'm beginning to think that some of the clothes have to just be hung in a closet or hung on the rack like I have here because I, I, you know, it's presentation when you, when you send it to somebody, you don't want it all wrinkled when they pull it out. Or well, maybe customers understand, I don't know, but I, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, things like this, no problem. I put them in a bag with a number, they go in a bin. Um, but some of the stuff that wrinkles, I think I'm going to start hanging them because I took something out. I forgot to measure. I, I, I I don't know if you guys do a lot of measurements or you measure every set of clothes that you do. I got really lazy for a while and I was just taking photos and just putting sizes and not doing measurements. So those clothes sometimes come back to haunt me because they ask me to measure, which is fine. I take them out and measure them. Sometimes that's good because like the other day when I took something out, oh my God, it was so wrinkled. It was really awful. So I, I left it hanging in the closet and now like two days later, um, it, thank God it's out and I'll probably take a steamer to it. If it does, if she does buy it and it ships, I'll just, I'll steam it quick. Um, yeah. Measuring is a bummer. That's uh, the only thing I don't like about clothing. Um, need to make the famous big hanger for photos. Yeah. Uh, pretty bunch of colors there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, weed's not that big now. I'm not going to tell him you said that. <laughs> And uh, I kind of thought he'd pop in tonight because he did acknowledge that he saw my post. But you know what? I, I understand. Um, this is, uh, let's see, actually, we've got two things here. We've got a Land's End purple, very soft purple. I know it doesn't probably looks white in the photo. It's a very, very pale purple. It is a Land's End extra large 1820 regular. It is uh, cotton. And some spandex actually in there a little bit. But again, see the wrinkle? See, I don't know if a customer would be happy when they get this like this. I feel like I need to. Now, you don't know. With the shipping and you stick them in a bag anyway, they could potentially get them, you know, a little wrinkled as well. But, uh, you know, I just want the presentation to be the best it possibly can be. Oh, here's another one of these shirts. So this one's corduroy. The other one wasn't corduroy. This one's a corduroy it is, let's see if it's by the same name. No, actually, this is J. Jill. This is J. Jill. J. Jill's a good name. It also has these kind of eyes with the balls that you, instead of buttons, they're all made of the corduroy material. And this is a size large. And this color, believe it or not, I don't know how it's shown in here, is like a 
pale gray, almost a grayish, um, not really gray. It's my, oh God, the, the color escapes me, but I know the color. Now, is this the same one? This almost looks like it's the, no, this is the same top, J. Jill, but this one's closer on the beige side. So this is actually a little more beige, has a little more yellow color in it, where the other one has a little gray color in it. But this is also J. Jill with the same kind of hook with the ball, and it is a size large. Again, this, these are going to have to be hung. The corduroy definitely does not show well when it's wrinkled, but that's why I don't know. Again, we're close. Sometimes it's hard to tell which is the best way to go. Oh, this is a nice Western. Looks like it has some pearl buttons. Again, I'll have to definitely steam this for sure. And um, I'll have to message Wade, too. I don't know if he threw any of this stuff in the laundry or not. Um, what do you guys do? Do you guys wash everything, or do you just you figure customers are going to wash it? I, I, I kind of do hit or miss both. Um, Judy wants your eBay link, and do you do Poshmark? I do do Poshmark, yes. My eBay link is, I'll put it below. After the video is over, I'll put my eBay, both my stores. Um, I, do, I think I have my Posh Closet in there. My Posh Closet, I haven't been working on it. I have 16, maybe 18 pairs of shoes. Um, a couple of women's, a couple of men's, maybe a pair of boys' sneakers. Um, I really have to get on Poshmark. When you work full-time and you try to do this, besides I'm doing this full-time literally as well, I think, because all weekend and at night when I get home and even before I go to work in the morning, I list and I you know, try to share. The Posh Closet is the hardest because of the sharing. But I do. I don't have any clothes on my Posh Closet. It's all shoes right now. It's just easier for me um, right now until I really get somebody to help. I'm seriously considering this week I'm going to go out and I'm going to get a high school, um, maybe photographer, somebody who's studying photography and let them help me with the photos. Cause then maybe they can do the measurements too, as they take the photos since I can't stand to do that. And then I thought about a virtual assistant. Everybody talks about sharing your posh closet. You can hire a virtual assistant to do that. But with 16 items, 18 items, I'm not hiring an assistant for that. If I get my closet up to two, 300 items, then I would definitely consider hiring a VA for that. Um, I don't know what, what's your thoughts on that. I mean, I do, if you guys share something of mine in my posh closet, I actually absolutely go right away and I reciprocate. And just because you share one of my items, I try to share your whole closet. And I try to do that even if I'm laying in bed at night or in the morning with my coffee, I'll do that. Um, it's just really hard because you forget too. I, I went almost a whole week without sharing my closet. So that that's hard too. When you forget, I haven't sold a lot on there. I think there's probably, if you look, um, well, you probably can't even tell now because I think once it's sold, I don't even know if it stays up there. And I've had to take some things off because I cross post on eBay. So if it's sold on eBay, I had to remove it. So that's uh, what it was. Judy, thanks, girlfriend. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. So again, this is a Western shirt and uh, it's cute. It's, it's really cute. It's a little small. Looks like it's probably a size small. Let's see. It is, no, it's an extra large. Ooh. Well, I don't know who's spending that extra large. <laughs> oh, well, every, every size one is different. And I guess this is a perfect example of why you need to have measurements because everything is different. One person's small is another person's large. So it, that one definitely, I, and I always know too, sometimes in the listings I will write run small. Um, I've had a couple of pairs of shoes even returned because they said they were too small, but sometimes you don't know whether or not to take a customer at their word or they just had buyer's remorse or they decided they just didn't want them. When they say, oh, they were too small, they run small, it's not a true size. I'm not really sure. All right, so this is a... Hmm, this is a weird, it says R. It's a 50, 22, 48, 18. I guess the bottom is the USA number. It's a size 18. It is a sweater, sleeveless, beige. Again, can you tell it's beige? Not really, but it is beige. Beige is be beige tan, so to speak. All right, and this is a little vest. 
little button down cold water creek. It's got a sleeveless, it's got button down, and it is looks feels like linen. Let's see, it's 55% linen, it's 45% rayon. So definitely some aware, but definitely something that you want to not get too wrinkled because rayon and linen do tend to wrinkle. And I will probably steam this a little bit and just hang it in the closet. It's not terrible. Um, just I'll button it and hang it up in the closet. This is lime green, lime green. Again, going to figure out the lighting yet, guys. All right. Next we have... A, oh, this is a branded, hmm. <laughs> Old Chicago. Oh, actually, actually, the name of it is actually the branding on it. It's a, and they even put that it's a female large. <laughs> Old Chicago pizza and tap room because, oh, maybe, maybe they wore this as a uniform. I'll have to look some of these places up and see if these places are still in business. Somebody used to work there, who knows, maybe just as a novelty or somebody just likes to wear a bar paraphernalia, but it's a short sleeve little, this is almost like a um, charcoal color. It's not black, black, it's charcoal, um, button down collared shirt. And this is a sleeveless collection of, it's extra large. Can't read that name. I think it's because I turned my lighting down in here. Because God forbid it's my eyes, right? <laughs> uh, is this two of the same? No, but it's, it's funny. They were together. It almost looks two of the same, but it's a different brand. This brand is Hilliard & Hansen. Uh, it's stretch. It's an extra large cotton and spandex. And this one is an extra large. And it's cotton and spandex. Now... Sometimes I put stuff together. Maybe I would put this together. Maybe not. It's about a shade or two different in blue. This one's a little bit of a lighter blue. This one's a little more babyish uh, blue, even though it's still light. It does have a similar kind of, you know, I forget what they call that. It's almost uh, the same. This one doesn't have as much ribbing in the back, but... Um, Maybe, who knows? Maybe I put it together. We'll see. Different brands. So I'll have to look these up. Um, what, did, what, what did we say? Be right back, Judy, going to find some folks. Aw. <laughs> All sizes in the world. All right. Well, Melissa, you've, I, I can't appreciate you enough. You've been here now and last time. Thank you so much. Okay, all right, let's see where we're at. Oh, more sweat is coming, it looks like. This looks like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take some of this stuff and I'm gonna just, so I have some room here. All right, this is, this is actually brown. You can tell it's brown, it's a button down, it's cute. I don't see any tags though, I wonder if the tag is gone. Let's see. It's definitely vintage. Can tell that. Actually, I think there's a button gone too. Yeah, there is. There is a button gone. All right. Well, you know what? We'll see. If it doesn't work, it goes in the goodwill. Although I have a ton of buttons, but yeah, and especially if I don't find a tag or a size, even though I can measure it, sometimes I'm apprehensive because. Not even close to a size here. No, I don't see a tag or a size. So we'll see. This may not even this may not even go anywhere, but into the goodwill bag. Especially um, some of this stuff too. Depending on the buttons, I might keep the buttons. Um, I have a tremendous thing of buttons. All right, Susan Thomas acrylic. I can tell for sure. It is definitely uh, vintage for sure. I think I wore this. <laughs> In like 1980 something. <laughs> it's a two piece. It looks like it has a jacket. Looks like it's been to the dry cleaner. Uh, Susan Thomas. Let's see. This is. Let's see if I can get a size on this one. Yeah, I can. Well, look at that tag. Yeah, dry clean only. So that's why it's been to the dry cleaner. 
metallic nylon polyester acetate on the outside jacket. I'm going to take it out of here. And then the top, well, the top's actually inside out. And the top is, let's see, take it off the hanger. Same thing, metallic nylon poly, again, dry clean only. So it was already in the dry clean <laughs> thing, so we'll hope it be okay. I'll study this better in light, but it looks good. It looks good. It's a very pale gray. It's got a sparkle in it. It's, you know, maybe something nice to put on, um, maybe not for a full dressy night, but, you know, out to dinner. Seeing the size, though. Oh, 10. Size 10. Okay, so that's a size 10. And again, glitter. Oh, little pockets on the sweater. It's cute. Yeah, definitely something that was around in my day. <laughs> Not that this still isn't my day. <laughs> All right. What do we got here? Fundamental things. Size me and size 14. This is a button down, it's kind of a little bit of a pantsuit. It is size, let's see, sometimes the top and the bottom don't match, and I don't think they match because it looks like the pants are a 16. So that is what this is. Pants are 16, top is 14. Not unheard of. Some women are bigger on the top and some are bigger on the bottom. I just happen to be bigger on both. <laughs> But we're working on it. We're working on it. Keto's kicking in. It's kicking in. It's all good. All right. Get to be my age. You've been on 400 million diets. I'm trying the 14th one of my life. But it's all good. That's another reason I started selling clothes. Started selling my size 20, 22s, and 24s about seven, six, seven years ago when I lost 80 pounds. Got down to a size 10, and here I am back up again. Woohoo! So, yo yo, just call me yo yo. All right, who we got here? We got Outlander, size large. This is a size large. I wonder if it's girl size large, though. Again, you know, sizes sometimes every brand is different. That's why I get why people want measurements. This is actually lamb's wool and rabbit hair and angora again and a little bit of nylon. And you can feel it in the material. And then I'm always going to look. It needs to be shaved maybe a little bit, but my biggest concern is always just making sure we don't have moth holes because these older vintage angora and lamb's wool can definitely like the moth. So was kept in a good place. It should be fine. It looks okay. It's just got a couple of, uh, needs a little bit of shaving. But other than that, it looks good. And you got to be careful. If you're shaving clothes, if you guys are ever shaving clothes, just be careful with even the shaver because you can actually put a hole in the sweater. I've done that before. So um, be careful. Oh, this is a chouse. This is a size 14. It's got pockets on the breast. It's buttoned down. With the hidden buttons and sleeves are buttoned as well one button and this is a size 14 and I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's poly or rayon the way it feels it is poly 100% poly okay Oh, guess what it has? It has shoulder pads. Oh, yes. A lot of people don't like shoulder pads. I used to like them. Don't really care for them anymore. Just for the comfortability of it anyway for myself. Bill Blast jeans. All right. So well, that's a Bill Blast little button-down shirt. Uh, make sure all the buttons are there. Yep, buttons will look intact. And I'll go through all these again. Make sure everything's good. It's a three-quarter sleeve, not a full sleeve. And it is an extra large, size 18. Again, I guess Bill Blast runs a little small because I've seen a lot bigger 18s than that one. Oh, and this is black and white. It's like a check. Again, 
Lighting's not so great in here. Uh, Hello, well, shoulder pads, yeah. Oh, Melissa, I'm in New York. I'm on Long Island. I'm in uh, a town called Massapequa Park. You guys may know the infamous Massapequa. Uh, lots of celebs in Massapequa. I'm on the other side of the track. I went to school with a lot of them, though. All right, so let's see. This is a spandex and um, definitely spandex because I can feel it, but it's also got the polyester with the velvet velour type pants. I think I saw a top for this. Oh no, maybe not. I thought I saw a top. It was just a sweater that was a similar color. We'll look at that in a second. Um, this is a large. Okay. A large, maybe. <laughs> no, it's cute. It's very soft. It's, you know, corduroyish, velvety feel, velveteen. This is a sweater. This is Partners again, size large. This is 100% acrylic and uh, hand wash. No buttons on this. This is just a pullover. Now, see, here's the difference. This sweater is a large. Again, this is like a mauve or a maroon. And these pants are large. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Even if I stretch them, I don't know. But, again, I guess it's all about the name. All about the name. That's why they want measurements. But this is a cute shirt. This is definitely cute. This will sell. All right. All right, this is, let's see, F, B, F, A, oh, fab, I guess it's, it's got a, a capital, like a large F, a very small capital A, and then a capital large B, and a capital large E, so I guess they tried to brand, I'll be very vintage too, looking at this, it's silk, nylon, angora, rabbit hair, and lamb's wool, yeah, and you can see it. You definitely see the vintage in the pearl buttons, too. They're kind of loose um, with a little bit of wear. But, again, depending on somebody likes this material, this is a size large. Size large. Again, this is going to have to be, and again, can you guys see that? It's going to have to definitely be shaped because I see a lot, a lot of little pellets or Hairy little bowls. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? We've got a Leslie Stevens 12T. Oh, I used to be a 12T. I am tall, but I'm not a 12 anymore, at least not right now. Someday again. This actually looks like something my best friend wore when we used to go out. <laughs> This is something she wore when we used to go out uh, to bring this to her. <laughs> this is funny. This is almost exactly the same. It is black and white. It's got a, um, oh, I forgot the name of this material. Let's see, what's it called on here? Uh, no, because it's nylon and acrylic, but it almost feels like, um, like chin not chinchilla. I can't think of what they call that material, but it's cute. Definitely reminiscent of. Late 80s, early 90s, I think. <laughs> well, maybe I'm not going far back enough. I don't know. Again, Leslie Stevens. Oh, uh, where are you, Melissa? Oh, South Georgia. Okay. Well, we will be going a little further south come next year or two. We're definitely relocating. Uh, not as far down as south. The south is Georgia. Only a couple hours away, we were thinking maybe Delaware, just uh, to get out of this crazy state in New York here. Uh, Bridgewater Classic, size 18. It's a beige jacket. Definitely needs to be hung up. It is linen and cotton, so it's definitely showing some, some wrinkles. So we definitely have to keep that hung up for sure. I'm going to borrow this hanger and hang that so that we can... Make sure we get the wrinkles out of that one. All 
Must be hot in Georgia today. Well, what's the temperature there? Oh, and Judy, you're in Chicago. Um, I have some friends in Joliet, and I used to teach in Downers Grove. And let's see, well, who else do I know over there? Oh, a couple of different towns. Um, actually, you're probably not far from Pete. Craigslist Hunter, he's over that way. Um, Yeah, I definitely have plenty to list. <laughs> Believe me, my listing is far behind. That's why I need help. Um, this is a skirt. This is all week long, size 12. And speaking of teaching, this looks like something my teacher wore in school. <laughs> definitely vintage. It's very, very um, dark, navy, turquoise, beige, rose. It definitely has some some different colors through it. Uh, it's lined, it's lined. I mean, it's a nice skirt, but you know, not everybody will wear it, but there'll be a buyer for it. There will definitely be a buyer for it. Um, definitely vintage, has a nice zipper on the side, got a clasp, all looks well intact. I mean, if I was to say it was kind of, I would kind of say like someone didn't wear it, they just took the tags off and tried it on because even though it's wrinkled, it seems like the zipper and the uh, clasp on the side really haven't been used. You can kind of tell sometimes when it's worn and there's a clasp on it, it stretches a little bit, but it looks like never even been closed. We'll hang that up for sure and steam that. I'm right. What does it say? Um, right by O'Hare. Oh, okay. Oh, Melissa, it's only 75. We had rain now for a week, but had 100 temps and no rain for all of May. See, we had it opposite. It poured here all of May. You know how it's supposed to be April showers bring May flowers? No, it was April showers bring high temperatures. I've had my air conditioning on almost every day here, which is, uh, well, I guess considering it's June, that's not terrible, but we went from like heat to air conditioning. Like one day my heat was on, the next day my air conditioning was on. It's crazy. This is Laura and Jane collection. This is a size large, just a white sheer and a button down blouse. It's got some pearl buttons up here, which is some hideaway buttons down um, thing. Just a simple blouse. Although I do see a little bit of a mark here. I'll have to spray that and see how we can wash this. Um, I can wash it. Okay. Yep. I'll put some, I'll put a little spray on that. But yeah, the weather, the weather's been crazy. It's like stupid. It's definitely stupid. I, it's. Von Pacon. Von Pacon. Do you guys know that name? It was a very popular name. I don't know if there's much made by the Von Pacon anymore. Uh, this is a size small. This is uh, what looks like lamb's wool, rabbit hair, angora. Nylon and um, I can't read the last one. It's all wrinkled on the thing, but yeah, nice and soft little shell. Uh, that's a size eight. Now, see, that's a size eight where the last one that was a large looked smaller than this, and an eight to me is a small or at least a medium. So that's why everybody's size is different. But that's a cute little shell underneath something. This is a Sag Harbor white. Okay, yeah, well, these out into the discos in the day. <laughs> Not that I was a disco girl, I wasn't. I grew up in the mosh pit days, stage diving and things alike, if you can believe that. Um, Sag Harbor, size 18. And that's a definite uh, white jacket. I'm sure you can see it there in the photo. That, at least that color is not going to show different, but the next couple look like they're black and they're going to look blue. Although this might be navy. This is Liz. Liz played one dress, I think. No, maybe it's not. No, it's not a dress. It's size eight. It says leak. Oh, this is a shell to a dress. That's what this is. I bet you I left the dress in the box. Okay. Shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. <laughs> it might be blue. It actually might be a, a definitely a navy blue. 
So not the color that is shown in the photo. That's showing too much of a chartreuse, but it's definitely a navy. And so maybe we don't have the dress for it. This is actually black. This is a black A-line skirt. This is CW, Clifford and Willis. Uh, it's got a wool lining. Very straight. Oh, it has some nice buttons, too. It's got, um, yep, let's make sure all the buttons. Yep, all the buttons are here. They're just not all buttons. Buttons slip down the side. Zip it back. Oh, no, actually, yeah. Oh, no, the zip is on the side with the buttons. That's strange. Okay. Usually it's one or the other. Yep. So, the, yep, the zipper and the buttons are both on the side. And that one was a size, what was that size? 14. So, size is all over. All right. This looks like this might go together. Let's see. This is... That's a black skirt, black wool skirt. I can tell already just by the feel. It's going to definitely be dry clean only. Jacqueline Ferrer, uh, size 12. Yep, wool, lamb, acetate, dry clean only. Knew that right away. So we'll hope this is in good shape. This is the jacket for it. Definitely would need a little pressing maybe. Um <laughs> Definitely vintage with that button. I don't, can you guys see that button? That is a vintage button. That actually might be even something mom would wear and not just not me. But uh, you can definitely tell by the buttons on here for sure. For sure, for sure. Definitely vintage. Maybe closer to 70s. You know. Yeah, this is a two-piece suit set. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty here, guys. I thank you for hanging in with me. Didn't ex expect to be on for over an hour. <laughs> but only have a little bit more to go. This is Pierre Cardin, XL. And he might have a flaw here. He might have a flaw. Yeah, looks like a little wear around the collar a little bit. Um, this is a little purple-violet almost. Um not violet, yeah, you know, purpley violet, not not the not the pinky violet. You know, everybody calls it different colors, sometimes different. Um, my violet might be different than somebody else's violet. Um, yep, looks like we only got a few more pieces to go. This is a wool coat. It is R O U I E. Is a belt. This is actually extra large. It's lined. It's a lightweight. It's like almost like an Easter, like, you know, coat mom used to wear on Easter Sunday. Um, but it definitely is wrinkled. It definitely needs some pressing. Um, let's see. What is it made out of? Wool, nylon, cashmere. That's why. All right. Cashmere is going to be dry clean only. Yep. Dry clean only for sure. All right, so maybe we just press it or steam it ourselves. I don't know. We'll look it over. We'll see how much what if if it's worth worth doing it again. When it comes to dry clean stuff, it really depends on whether whether or not it's worth it. Vintage stuff sometimes, but if you can look at the style of this, this is definitely a '70s style. Definitely, mom had this coat. <laughs> mom wore this to Easter Sunday mass. <laughs> it's 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 like a um it's an Easter. Uh, pale green too. It's like um, not the avocado kitchens we all had, but the um, when I say we all, like I have no idea what age group you guys saw, <laughs> but um, this was definitely um, an Easter color back in the well, probably still is a little bit of an Easter color, and uh, definitely you know a lightweight little Easter coat that we put on. My mom put on for sure. <laughs> All right, so we'll have to figure out if that gets dry cleaned or not. Oh, speaking of Easter, this looks like a very <laughs> Eastery color. We've got pink and green. Uh, yeah, definitely back 70s <laughs> for sure. Look at this design. Look at this. Definitely 70s. All right, let's see who makes this. It's got a zippered back. It's got this uh, 
front with the string, definitely um, something, again, mom would wear out, probably hanging one tree in the back. Jody T. of California. Hmm, okay. I'll have to look. I'm sure they're no longer in business. It's a size nine. Hmm, size nine. So size nine to me was maybe juniors, but I don't know if that's a junior. But it's got a belt, and it's definitely, definitely vintage for sure. Pink, yellow, green, and white. All right, I think we have one or two more things. And again, I thank you guys so much. <laughs> so much of that's coming back in style. Oh, good to hear. <laughs> it's good to hear. Uh, okay, this looks like a pair of pants I might have owned. <laughs> Karen Scott looks like a brand I might have wore. Size 16 looks like a size I might have worn. <laughs> well, no, that's not true. I still wear a size 16 and 18, but hopefully that'll change too. All right, yep, button, zipper, uh, plaid, black and white, a little crease down, just regular kind of dress pants, work pants. Um, not bad, not bad. And then the last one, definitely my aunt wore these pants. My aunt wore these pants back in 1985. <laughs> this is Panther, size 16. And this color... This is so funny because I'm telling you, my aunt had a pair of these pants. My aunt was in real estate, and uh, that's how I started in mortgage, and we worked together. But I'm telling you, she had a pair of these pants. <laughs> this is a plaid with a red, green, gray, blue. It's got a bunch of multicolors in there, dark. Zip it with two buttons, button pocket and a button little... This, this is like a false little thing here. There's no button, but it's just like a little decorative thing. That was kind of the style then, too. So I can recognize these for sure. Well, pleat, size 16, and that's it. All right. All right. So that's everything. I'll have to go through it all, really, with a fine-tooth comb. Price it out, because a lot of these names are just not names I know. Um, some of them I did like this, this is Pierre Cardin, um, was gone. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. You know, I, I'm going to do a lot of different things. This was just something different. Uh, you know, kind of an unboxing, uh, told Wade, I was hoping he'd pop in. I guess he didn't. Somebody gave me, I got three thumbs up, so I'm happy about that. So somebody popped in and popped out, <laughs> but I appreciate you guys. Thanks for coming in. And, um, I'm going to try to do another live uh, show, maybe, what's today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe Friday. We'll see what happens. Um, because i got to try to get all this stuff up, too. I'll price it all. When I sit, I price. Uh, I'll, I'll do that. I have a bunch of stuff to list tonight before I go to bed, although it's, it's 10.15 here in New York. Um, oh, I appreciate that, Melissa. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, somebody snuck in. I thank you. Uh, but thank you, Judy, Melissa, everyone, please. Thanks so much. Yes, please like, subscribe if you haven't. Um, and I'll look forward to you guys uh, on the next video. Have a great night.